<clears throat> so, I have a TikTok now, and I've already made some people, uh, some people butt hurt about this game. See, there's a lot of things about this game that could be really good, but I feel like they just stopped trying, or maybe they rushed it out real quick. Like, that exact design right there, that's, that's basically the Assassin's Creed thing from uh, Valhalla. But anyway, um, there's a lot of things that they stole from other games in here, like the, you know... Mind of anything? Not that that hasn't been used in other games before, but, and there's nothing wrong with that, but also at the same time, like, I was hoping for something fresh and new. This isn't fresh and new, and then people are like, it's just a looter shooter, who cares about the story? I do. I do. I'm tired of lazy games and lazy writers. Um, I'm tired of people pushing their politics like the first hour of this game with people with man buns and going on about the environment. We all know that war is going to be the real thing that destroys the planet. Don't even start with the fucking environment nonsense. But of course, it's another, you know, sci-fi game where they do that nonsense. And then, of course, you know, you want to play the... Hold on. It's probably going to be, like, super loud while I'm trying... Well, I'm up on my soapbox. Give me a second. And yeah, this game just came out, and Destiny's been out for a while, and it's it's definitely dying, and it has some issues because they're not putting a whole lot of effort into it because they don't feel like they should. But you want to tell me that I shouldn't make, you know... I shouldn't make an opinion. You know, um, I'm allowed to have an opinion on something, and uh, first impressions are a thing, you know? So if my first impression of a game is that you didn't try very hard, you slammed your politics into it, you put Mary Sue characters, uh, men and women, into this uh, man buns and talked about uh, stuff that doesn't even make it's sense, nice. and, like, everyone's trying to kill each other, it just... A lot of this doesn't make sense to me. Oh. But I just want to say that there were some aspects that I really liked about this. I like the... The, the grunginess, you know, the, the fallout as sure. I woke up in cryo, you know, and now I'm coming into a war thing. But they totally, you know, that's... It was so on the nose. It was, it was so on the nose, fallout, that it was almost insulting. And then, you know, people with the argument about looter shooters not needing good story. That's, that's bullshit. This isn't a mobile phone game. All right, this is a console. Um... And then there's like, you know, PC and console games, they need story. If I'm going to pay $60 or more for a game, it better have decent story, which this does not. It better have good story development, which this does not. Um, good character development, which this does not. There's, there's a lot of issues here. And it's already gotten better since the first hour. Um, I loved the trench warfare scenes. I loved, um, there was, there's some, there's some good possibility here. The whole, you know... They weren't supposed to land here, but this one guy is screaming because he's on a power trip. That was a pretty weak villain. That was that was a pretty weak excuse for, for why they would land. I think it would have made more sense if maybe something on the planet weather-wise, you know, or maybe, you know, they were out of fuel and they didn't have a choice. Maybe go a little bit the, the 100 with that. But um, in, instead, you made it some weird power trip, you know, guy power trip thing, and that's... I'm uncomfortable. When I posted this on TikTok, man, the amount of butt hurt, the amount of butt hurt was 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 real. It was it was real. Um, and I mean, it's the internet, so whatever. And I mean, you could be like, oh, you're butt hurt about this. I mean, yeah, I am. But this is an opinion piece. Biker fetish. The dual pistol thing should be an option. Um, right off the bat, maybe you know, there's stuff later that you don't have to dual wield them. I think that's pretty lame. Um, there's, this game has a lot that it's trying to, f I like the co-op thing. Um, the co-op ability and story is great. Destiny does that fantastic. Um, you don't even, like, notice really. Um, so it's not new, um, and it's been done better. But more games should have co-op in the story. Not even just, like, MMO. I'm talking, like, like, you know, really story plot driven games should have some, like, co-op capability. Destiny 2 um, started off okay and then just completely fell apart because they were just like, oh, we'll just use our audience as pay pigs and not actually make an effort to make them happy. Well, granted, I play Destiny all the time and I love that game. Um, I also hate that game. <laughs> it has some serious goddamn issues. Yeah, 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 I really... But see, it doesn't pull me in. If you don't pull someone in in like the first like minute or so, 
It's kind of like how I am with anime. Um, although I'm more stubborn with anime, I try to watch the first episode all the way through of an anime before I make a full judgment call. Um, but if you are just throwing garbage at me nonstop and fan service nonsense and Mary Sue's and I forget what the guy version is, so I just call Mary Sue for guy or girl. Um, with no actual development or character depth or showing me real flaws and everyone who's in power is in the right but never explain why they're in power. Then I just, I just don't care. You know, I'm stubborn, so I'll come back to this at a later date. But I'm just, I, I just, I'm just not feeling it, you know? I've, I've played a few hours of this. Granted, I'm still kind of like in the tutorial section. I haven't even upgraded my tier yet. The tumbling. Okay, that's kind of cool. Kind of like World War One. It's interesting. Let's see. Again, I just I couldn't give a fuck. So, yep. I think I'm gonna leave it there.